Hey, Opal. This package arrived for you. Oh, great. Thanks, Pearl. I ordered some new toys for Will. I hope he likes them. That's really cool, Opal. I think Will and the other small animals will really enjoy playing with it. Hey, Pearl, what's up? Is that new, Opal? Looks like Will is checking it out. It is. It just came today. You could teach Will the names of the three-dimensional shapes with that. You said you were thinking about going to school to be a teacher, Pearl. Maybe you can practice on the rabbits. <laughs> Come here, Will. Sit right here. Good boy. Let me get the others. Why not? Good morning, bunnies. Are you ready for your math lesson today? Today we are going to learn about three-dimensional shapes. They are solid shapes that have length, width, and height. See? Look right here. This one is a sphere. It is round like a ball. And this one is a rectangular prism. See how all the sides are rectangles? This one is similar, but it's called a cube because all the sides are square. And this one is a cylinder. The top and bottom are circles and the sides are curved. And this one's a star. Is there a fancy name for that one? I'm not sure. That one is not as common. I can look it up on my phone. Here it is. It's called a decagonal prism. Decagons are shapes that have 10 sides, which is what stars have. That's quite a name. The rabbits might have trouble remembering that one. I might have trouble remembering that one. Okay, bunnies. So that was sphere, rectangular prism, cube, cylinder. Um, girls, did you see what Will just did? What? What? I swear, when Pearl said the name of each 3D shape, he hopped to an object in the yard that was the same shape as what you were pointing to. Really? I knew he was pretty smart, but wow! You know what that means? What? It means I'm an excellent teacher! How many animals do you have now, Opal? Two dogs, four rabbits, and two guinea pigs. That's a lot of animals. I'm taking care of them for now. Most of them weren't wanted and I rescued them. I hope to find new families to love them, but until I can, I'm happy to do it. I love animals. No wonder Will looks so sad. He does, but he's starting to trust me and seems to be happier here. It seems like the rabbits are enjoying the new toy. Hey, by the way, I didn't realize you were stopping by today, Blanca. I'm glad you did. I almost forgot what I came for. Miss Smith from school is working on a display of her 3D artwork in a gallery show at her school. I was wondering if you wanted to check it out with me. Oh, definitely. Is it okay if I tag along too, Blanca? Of course. Welcome, ladies. I'm so glad you were able to come by. Thank you for the invitation. We can't wait to see what you've been working on. This is it. I'm working on constructing a 20 foot tall tree made out of paper mache. Wow, that is amazing. It's so big. How long did it take you to construct it? About a month, give or take. I've never seen a structure so big. Can you tell us more about it, Miss Smith? Well, it is a freestanding organic form. I would consider it to have an open form since the branches at the top give the illusion of continuing past the constructed piece. What? <laughs> Let me back up. It is freestanding, meaning it's not attached to a background. There are other types of sculpture where the image is attached to a base or carved out of the material. It's organic, which means it does not have a typical geometric form like cubes, cylinders, or prisms. The trunk and branches of the tree are similar to cylinders, but see how they're different? Hey Pearl, Miss Smith is continuing your math lesson from this morning. But adding in are as well. How did you choose the paper that is on the outside of the tree, Miss Smith? 
I think that our personalities are made up of all the people we meet and all the experiences we have. The tree represents the pieces that all our friends and family add to our lives, but at the same time we grow into our unique selves. So the paper on the outside of the tree is a collage of pictures, papers, and notes I've received from people who are important to me. That's beautiful. I love that. My students make up a part of my unique self. Thank you for being a part of my growth, girls. I look forward to seeing what unique art you create.